Roughly three weeks ago, ImageLine announced a new FL Studio 21.1 update, and well, for a point one update, it was more than we all expected. Amongst a bunch of cool new features, the piano roll got two new major updates. And if there was a debate about if FL Studio's piano roll is the best, that debate is now over. Nice. No more talking, let's dive right into it. The first and long-awaited new feature in FL Studio's piano roll is Snap to Scale. This is different to what we had before, which was scale highlighting. Scale highlighting is still there. There is a new feature now added to it called Snap to Scale. There is also this new icon added beside the magnet icon, which you can right-click on, choose your root note, let's pick C, then you choose your scale, let's say major pentatonic. If this icon is green, Snap to Scale is turned on. If it's not, it's off. You can left click on it to turn it on and off. When you turn it on, it simply doesn't allow you to place notes outside of your key and scale. Our key was C major. If I try to create a note, let's say on F sharp note, it doesn't allow me and automatically creates one above it or below it to the closest note in that key and scale. While this is cool on its own, here is where it gets better. So let's say you drag in a MIDI pattern into the piano roll. This one is an A basic minor. A minor is the relative minor key of C major, so it's basically all white keys. I'm going to right click on the note icon above, change the key to let's say D harmonic minor. Highlight my notes and start to move my notes up and down together. They will snap to the D minor harmonic scale. go lower this makes it super easy for you to experiment with different keys using an existing MIDI pattern that you may have made or you may have found in different keys and create variety in your progressions and melodies or somehow this is the second best feature added to the piano roll let's move on to my favorite new feature piano roll scripts this is where FL Studio's piano roll becomes open source so now if you know how to code using Python you can create your own scripts and share it with the rest of the community which is what some of the hardworking kind-hearted coders out there been already doing so we have a bunch of scripts that we can download for free and I'm going to show you where you can download them how to install Install them and which ones are my favorites. Let me first give you a teaser of the most mind-blowing one to me. If you click on the wrench icon on the top left, you now have to the right hand side scripts panel. By default there are four or five scripts that come with the update but I downloaded a few myself and I'm going to show you where you can download them too. There is one called chord progression tool and if you do struggle with coming up with new chord progressions in different keys and different styles this will solve all your problems. Right at the top you can choose your root note and scale. These are my settings from the last time I used this tool. So I'm gonna keep it the same, C sharp harmonic minor. Then you can choose your start octave, on which octave of the piano you want the chords to be placed. If I change it to three, it's gonna go down an octave. We're gonna leave it on four for now. You can choose the duration of chords. We're gonna leave it on bar for now. And here is where you have complete creative freedom. You can choose whether you want your first chord to be the first chord in the key, the second, the third, the fifth, and so on. Then you can choose whether you want it to be a triad chord, a power chord, an open chord, sus, and pretty much all the usual chords. Then you can choose the inversion of your chord. You can choose the start time and the duration of that particular chord. You have the same settings for your second, third, and fourth chord. When you're done setting your chords up, below it you can choose whether you want bass notes or not. I'm gonna choose one plus two octaves below, which will add the bass notes of the chord for me, one and two octaves below. You can also add layers the same way above your chords. You can add strum to all of the chords. You can mess with the strum velocity, humanization. Let's actually hear what we've got so far. You can see that above the chords it creates a marker and tells you which chords you're playing which is great and to cap it all off you can turn on arpeggiator mode let's set it to up and down bounce you can choose the speed of the arp let's actually hear it on this speed i'm gonna change the octave to five and let's hear it now Let's change the speed to step.
This should give you a clear idea of what you can do with this tool and well, it's limitless. If you're finding the video valuable, please consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment and liking the video. This channel is fairly new and really could use your help to grow. Thank you for your support. I'm going to show you now where you can find and download different scripts how to install them, and then we're going to come back and check a couple more out together. There is an image line forum for piano roll scripting. I will link it in the description. When you come in, you will need to create a free account to have access to the forum if you already haven't. And here you can find the most popular threads based on the views. For instance, this one with almost 3000 views is the chord progression tool. There are currently two pages, so make sure you check out the second page as well. So let's say you want to get this chord progression tool, click on it. The creator usually shares a video showcasing what the tool is actually capable of and if there are any bugs and updates about the tool scroll down and you see download get the version that you want usually the latest version is the best one when you download it it's a zip file so you need to unzip it inside that zip folder there is usually one file i'm going to show you how that file looks like in a second open your file explorer go to your documents folder then navigate to image line fl studio settings piano roll scripts this folder won't show up if you don't have the FL Studio 21.1 update, so just bear that in mind. Inside that folder is where you paste your script files. As I said, it's only one file inside the folder, and that's what you want pasted here. Just a reminder that you need to have Python installed on your computer. It's super simple, just Google Python download or find the link in the description. You go in and you download the latest version of Python for your computer. This will allow those Python files to be recognized by your computer. Let's now head back to FL Studio and check out a couple more scripts. My second favorite script so far is called Random Chopper. I have the simplest of hi-hat patterns that sound like this. Wrench icon, random chopper. Again, this is my previous settings from the last time I used this script. I tend to use this script mainly for getting inspired for new hi-hat patterns and snare rolls and drum fills in general. Let's listen to it and see what we've got so far. In the bottom half, you can choose the snap settings you want allowed for creating these chops. In the top half, you have the first chop minimum and first chop maximum that you can mess with. But the most important knob in this script is probability. The higher you set it, the more chops you're gonna get across the range. The lower you set this, the less chops you're gonna get. Simple as that. So I'm gonna increase this to about 50. And let's actually bring back a couple triplets as well. And here's what it sounds like. You can of course click on regenerate to give you a different one. And again, there is a fade in velocity button. It's usually better to do the velocities manually yourself. But using this script, I've managed to make some nice snare rolls and drum fills. So experiment with different sounds and different settings to see what you can come up with. The last script I want to share in this video is called Generate Tempo Transition. I loaded this snare that sounds like this. Click on the wrench icon again, Generate Tempo Transition. This is my previous settings. Just to give you an idea, here's what it sounds like. You can change the start frequency, let's set it to 8, and the end frequency to 64. Below it, you can change the duration. Right now it's on 8 beats. You can change it to 16 to extend the transition. But for now, we're gonna leave it on 8. Let's hear it again. You can now create this type of tempo transitions with any sounds of your choosing. You don't have to go find the loop and you can't tweak the sound or tweak the pattern. You have now full control over how you want it to sound like on what sample. And it's super quick, which is mind blowing to me. From here, go ahead and experiment with different scripts that are shared out there already. Pick the ones that works the best for you. And do let me know in the comments if these features have helped your workflow and your production skills even more than before. If you want to be in touch with me and the rest of the community, join the Discord channel. The link for it is in the description. On the server, you can promote your new releases, get some feedback on your unreleased tracks, get notified about my live streams where I review your music for free, and also get access to the free samples that my community is posting to the Discord server. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>